वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माई चैनल इजी आई टी एजुकेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल विल बी फाइन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ए न्यू वीडियो विच इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर वेब डिजाइनिंग ए स्टूडेंट्स कम ऑन एंड वॉच वीडियो केयरफुली एंड लिसन मी पेशेंटली टूडेज टॉपिक इज द रोल ऑफ एच टी एम एल इन वेब पेज डिजाइनिंग एच टी एम एल विच स्टैंड फॉर हाइपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज इज द स्टैंडर्ड मार्कअप लैंग्वेज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग वेब पेजेस एंड वेब एप्लीकेशन इट प्रोवाइड्स द स्ट्रक्चर एंड सीमांटिक मीनिंग टू द कंटेंट ऑफ ए वेब पेज एच टी एम एल यूजेज अ सेट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स और टैक्स टू डिफाइन द स्ट्रक्चर एंड ले आउट ऑफ द वेब पेज एज वेल एज टू इंडिकेट how the content should be displayed in a web browser here is detailed explanation of html elements and their uses number 1 document type declaration doc type it is the first line of an html document and it specifies the html version being used number 2 html element html element is the root element of an html document and contains all other elements number 3 head element head it contains meta information about the html document such as the title character encoding linked style sheets and scripts number 4 title element it defines the title of the html document which appears in the browser's title bar or tag number 5 body element it contains the visible content of the web page such as text images links headings paragraphs and more number 6 head elements they represent different levels of headings with h1 being the highest level main heading and h6 being the lowest level subhead number 7 paragraph element it represents a paragraph of text number 8 hyperlink element it creates a hyperlink to another web page or a specific location within the same page number 9 image element it is used to embed an image in the web page it requires the src attribute to specify the image source url or file path number 10 list elements ul ol li they are used to create unordered list ul and and ordered list ol with individual list items li inside them number 11 division element it is a container element used to group and style other html elements number 12 span element it is an inline container element used to apply styles or manipulate specific parts of text number 13 form element it is used to create interactive element elements like input fields check boxes radio buttons and submit buttons it contains the input elements and a submit button number 14 input elements they are used to create various types of form fields such as text fields check boxes radio buttons drop down menus and more number 15 table elements table tr th and td they are used to create a structured tabular data the table element defines the table tr represents a table row th defines a table headers and td represents table cells number 16 a style element it is used to embed css cascading style sheets code within an html document to define the appearance and layout of elements number 17 a script element it is used to embed javascript code within an html document to add interactivity and dynamic functionality these are just some of the most commonly used html elements html is a versatile language 
and there are many more elements available to create different types of content and functionality on a web page. It is often used in conjunction with CSS and JavaScript to create visually appealing and interactive websites. Instead of above elements, now explaining you some additional HT elements and concepts. Number one, heading group elements. Header, it represents a container for introductory content or a set of navigational link. It is typically placed at the top of the web page. Number two, navigation element nav. It is used to define a section of navigation links within the web page. Number three, section element. Section. It represents a stand-alone section of content within a document such as chapters, tabs, or distinct areas. Number four, article element. It represents a self-contained composition in a document such as a blog post, news article, or forum post. Number five, aside element. It is used to mark content that is tangentially related to the main content such as slide, sidebars, pull quotes or advertising. Number six, footer element. It represents the footer section of a document or a specific section such as the footer of an article of or the bottom of a web page. Number seven, inline element. A span, EM, a strong, quote, etc. These elements are used to apply a specific formatting or a styling to a small pieces of text within a paragraph or other block level elements. Number eight, semantic elements, main, figure, fig caption, time, etc. HTML5 introduced several semantic elements that provide more meaning and context to the content, adding accessibility and search engine optimization. Number nine, audio element. It is used to embed audio content within a web page. It supports various audio formats and provides controls for playback. Number ten, video element. It is used to embed video content within a page. It supports various video formats and provide controls for playback. Number 11, Canvas element. It provides a space on the web page for drawing, graphics, animations, or interactive visualization using JavaScript. Number 11, 12, Template element. It allows defining HTML templates that can be cloned and inserted dynamically using JavaScript. Number 13, meta element. It includes meta information about the web page, such as the character encoding, viewport settings, keywords, and description for search engine optimization. Number 14, external resource link. It is used to link external resources to the HTML document such as style sheets, icons, or other documents. Number 15, inline frame element. It embeds another HTML document within the current document, often used for displaying external content or embedding maps or videos. Number 16, comment element. It allows adding comments within the HTML code that are not displayed in the rendered web page, comments are useful for adding notes or explanation for other developers. Number 17, data attributes. These are custom attributes that can be added to HTML elements to store additional data or information, which can be accessed and manipulated using JavaScript. Number 18, accessibility features. That is alt attribute role attribute. HTML provides several attributes and elements that help improve accessibility 
making web content <coughs> more usable for people with disabilities. Examples include the alt attribute for providing alternative text for images and the role attribute for defining the role or purpose of an element. These are some additional HTML elements and concepts that can be used to create more complex and interactive web pages. HTML is a versatile language with a wide range of elements and attributes to suit different requirements and design patterns. Conclusion HTML Hypertext Markup Language is the standard markup language used for creating web pages and web applications. It provides the structure and semantic meaning to the content of a web page, allowing browsers to interpret and display the content correctly. HTML uses a set of element stacks to define the structure and layout of a web page. These elements include headings, paragraphs, lists, hyperlinks, images, forms, tables, and more. Each element serves a specific purpose and contributes to the overall structure and functionality of the web page. HTML also supports attributes which provide additional information or modify the behavior of elements. Attributes can be used to specify the source of an image, define the appearance of an element, set the value of a field, and more. Furthermore, HTML can be enhanced with CSS, means cascading style sheets, to define the visual presentation and layout of the web page, and with JavaScript to add interactivity and dynamic functionality. By utilizing the various HTML elements, attributes, and associated technologies, web developers can create engaging and accessible web pages that effectively convey information, interact with users, and provide a pleasant browsing experience. Thanking you all for listening me patiently. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.